we were all busy wrapping up our work in December 23 or perhaps planning for our vacation in the Christmas break, Siemens released a new upgrade for both the hardware and the software of the Logo platform. Now the latest version of the Logo Soft Comfort, which is the software for programming and configuration of Logo modules, is version 8.4. And with the release of this new software, Logo basic modules or the hardware of version 8.4 are also released. In my opinion, this was one of the milestones in the micro automation market because Logo right now is literally like a PLC. In the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through the new features and how you can take advantage of all these new features in your project. By the way, if you are new to Logo or Siemens platform or if you don't know anything about Logo, I strongly suggest to watch our other video, which was a crash course under 30 minutes to get you up to a speed using a Logo in your small to medium sized projects. I'll put the link somewhere up here. So without further ado, let's jump into the details, download the new upgrade, install it on our machine, and let's browse through the new features. First step is navigating to the Siemens Industry Online Support website and downloading the upgrade for LogoSoft Comfort. You can easily find this page by searching into the SIOS or Siemens Industry Online Support website or simply just Google it. So as you can see, there is a brief description of new features in the new LogoSoft Comfort V8.4. But don't worry, we'll go through the details of these items shortly. Just scroll down to the bottom of the page and download download this zip file which is 5.2 gigabyte. Once you've downloaded the file, you will have this zip file on your desktop or any location that you have saved your file and simply unzip the file. I've already done that to save time so let's just open the folder. As you can see there is a folder web installer and you will see more than one folder to install the upgrade. That can be confusing if you are not used to installing LogoSoft Comfort. You need to go to this folder Logo Comfort. You can surely open the install.htm which is a web page that summarizes the information for the installation. By the way, as I explained in the other video, one of the cool features of the logo is programming software for the logo is not just for the Windows machine, it supports Linux and Mac OS. And with this new version 8.4, it also supports Windows 11. After you open the logo comfort folder, go to the install data or installation data and based on your OS you can select a different folder. For example here I have a Windows machine which is running Windows 10 uh, 64 bits so I select Win64 and click on the VM and there is a setup.exe. Just simply double click on that. Just follow along the steps and your LogoSoft Comfort upgrade will be installed. Just a quick note, once the LogoSoft Comfort is installed, the wizard will ask you if you want to upgrade or install the new Logo Web Editor, which was a free HMI software for Logo as I explained again in the other video. Please make sure you check the other one if you are not familiar with this software. So for sure you want to install that. Because right now the latest version for Logo Web Editor is 1.2. Okay, so I'll just simply cancel this because I've already installed that. So now if you go to your start menu and search for logo, you will notice that you have different version of the logos. On this particular machine, I have version 8.2, 8.3, and now 8.4. You just need the latest version, which is 8.4, unless you have a very old logo device and you just don't need any upgrade. You are happy with what you have in your system and you don't want to touch it. So just stick with what version you have right now. So I'll just simply open the LogoSoft Comfort version 8.4. As you can see, there is not much upgrade in the user interface or the UI. It just feels and looks exactly the same as the previous version. But under the hood, there are a lot of upgrades and great features that you need to know. So let's just go through the hardwares and see what new hardwares have been added. And if you go to the hardware type, as you can see, there is a new category for Logo 8.4. Unfortunately, I don't have a physical Logo 8.4 hardware to show you, but it looks pretty much the same as 8.3, which I showed you in the other video. So similar to the previous versions, LogoSoft Comfort 8.4 is also shipped with a help system and document, which gives you all the information that you need 
to develop your project from basic to the advanced. There is also a PDF version of this. If you like PDF documents more, you can just navigate to this page and you just search for the logo manual. And there is a document, there are two versions of it. There's a display, which you don't need to download, or there's a PDF version that you can download. So for now, let's just open a multimedia document online version. It has a very simple UI. And as you can see, it's a multimedia file. You don't need to download. You can for sure highlight this page and go back to it later. But bear in mind, you need an internet connection. Otherwise, if you don't have, you want to have a hard copy on your machine, just simply download a copy and you'll get a PDF file. Hope you are ready to hear about all the new features in 8.4. One of the biggest upgrades, which is my favorite, and I was waiting for this feature for a long time, is supporting the general MQTT protocol, not just AWS. This is the huge upgrade. Right now, you can connect your logo to any MQTT broker, such as Mosquito MQTT, or HiveMQ MQTT broker, or any other MQTT brokers. If you have used the logo before, you must know that previously, logo just supported aws iot core and which was pretty much limited in one platform many customers and users don't really use aws so with this new addition you can have your own local mqtt broker installed connect your logo to subscribe or publish to different mqtt topics so on top of this new addition, which is supporting MQTT brokers, Logo now supports Azure and Alibaba clouds. So now you can connect your logo to AWS, Azure, or Alibaba cloud. As we saw in the other video, connecting Logo to the cloud, it's very easy. It's just a matter of a few clicks and entering the IP address or the endpoint of the MQTT broker. So as I mentioned, Logosoft Comfort has a great documentation and there are a lot of examples. So for example, here, I wanna show you how you can connect the Logo 8.4 to Mosquito MQTT broker. So just simply search for MQTT. And as you can see in the documentation, there are two good examples. One is for connecting connecting the logo to Mosquito MQTT and one to HiveMQ. For example, in the Mosquito MQTT, which you have seen in our IoT Masterclass, put the link somewhere up in this video if you haven't checked that already. There is just a simple configuration and you just need to edit the config file for the Mosquito MQTT broker. And then you can register your device using the wizard that we saw before. You may have noticed here, previously we just had AWS. Right now, now we have Azure, Alibaba, and General MQTT. Just connecting to the MQTT broker, select MQTT and enter the URL or IP address. This could be your Raspberry Pi 5 test server in the IoT Masterclass. And the port normally is 1883. Just give it a new client ID that should be unique and enter your username and password if there is any. And then you just need to select your authentication type, which is TCP normally and hit the next. After defining your MQTT authentication type, you need to define the topics that you wanna subscribe to or publish. As you can see, it's very easy. You just do it through the wizard and the resulting information will be stored in this memory area, which is normally the V memory. Again, you can browse through the other example, which is connecting logo to Hive MQTT, and it gives you the walkthrough description to connect that. The process is pretty much the same. It's just a matter of Hive MQ dashboard to define your topics and so on. The next major upgrade in Logo 8.4 is allowing for batch download to several logos at the same time. As you can see, when you are trying to perform a download, a list of all available logo devices on the network will appear here and you can just simply select them and do a batch download in just one click. This will save a lot of time. The next great new feature is sending customized email to configure recipients with Trigger. This is a very neat feature which was not available in Logo, but right now you can just go to your offline setting and there is a new option for email event setting. And as you can see here, for example, you can define different triggers for when your logo is powered on or when the logo is turned from run to stop or stop to run. You can send different emails to get updates about your system. And as you can see, the process of defining this email list is pretty easy. You don't really need to do any scripting or any advanced setting. All you need to do, just define the trigger, define the email subject, find 
receiver group, which is another great feature, you can send this email to a group of recipients. For example, the maintenance crew should get more updates. The next major upgrade in Logo 8.4 is addition of two different memory areas, which are called VX and VR. As you may know, Logo already had this V memory, which was normally used for transferring data in the network, and we could use V0 to V850 as a bits by double word and so on. But right now we have this new VX and VR. VX is pretty much the same as a V memory, so which is basically some extra memory in your hands that you can use it in your program. But the VR is the retentive memory area, which is a very new feature in Logo. So on top of all these upgrades, there are a lot of little things that have been improved. For example, you can now download the log files when the logo is in run mode. You don't have to stop it. And another upgrade in 8.4 has been the scan time and the accuracy. Okay, that was it for today's video. And as promised, our logo complete tutorial or course is coming soon. So make sure you subscribe to Block IoT YouTube channel and please follow us on LinkedIn. And thank you so much for your support. Your support means a lot to us. And until the next time, have a great day or night.